Hey guys, Frozen Nexus, and today I'm going to be starting a new bit of a series. I'm going to start reviewing some of the high-end weapons that I come across in the game and try and give you guys a better idea of how good they actually are. So today I'm going to be doing the Police MK17, because I kind of already did the Vector, it's the best gun in the game. I'll do it again once it's nerfed. I mean, there, there's no way they're going to just leave that gun as overpowered as it is. Let's face it, have your fun with it while you still can, but... We all know that gun is too overpowered, and it's going to change soon. Starting off, I use a C79 scope that gives accuracy and headshot damage. Headshot damage, very important to snipers. Most of your shots will be headshots, therefore doing more damage with a headshot, extremely important. Here I have a critical hit chance. The magazine size is not as important, but having a 37 mag in this gun is actually fantastic. The initial bullet stability and hip fire accuracy. Well, the hip fire accuracy is kind of useless, but the initial bullet stability allows you to look down the scope and take shots quicker with less sway. So I find that helps me out a lot because you're constantly on the move. And finally, the flash hider, which is increased accuracy and critical hit chance, which I went over that before. So I'm just going to cut some gameplay of me using this gun and I'm going to talk about it a little bit over the background. So first off, what I want to say about the gun is it is not the most damaging gun. It really only does around 20k damage per shot according to the statistics. It does a plus 165% headshot damage, but you may find that is changed depending on uh, what gun you have or which one you find. I find that that is about correct. If you hit someone in the body, it's going to do 20 to 23k damage. You know, the attachments add a little bit of damage to it. Now, I found that this gun is not great. If you like spammable sniper rifles where you can honestly even suppress an enemy with a sniper rifle, you have 37 rounds in the mag, so you can just keep shooting and not have to duck. But personally, I find that it doesn't do enough damage. It just it takes three shots to the head to kill a AI or a superior AI, while the M1A that is only a superior I have only takes two shots. So I find that this gun is great if you're fighting against, say, you know, a boss or something where you could, where it's it's beneficial to be able to spam the boss because every time you hit him in the head, there's a small chance that he will end up, you know, getting stuttered or you know, stunned real quick and have to, you know, step back or do that weird animation, which is great and all, but I find that SMGs and assault rifles do that much better. This gun's RPM and damage is honestly nothing. I will. I'm actually going to compare it to the M1A right now. You'll, I'll show you. I'm cutting back to that on the screen. As you can see, the M1A is literally better in every way. I mean, sure, the stats are a little lower, but this has. Let's just take all the mods off of this real quick. One second. All right, strip mods. All right, now let's compare it to the M1A. Which let me make sure that has no mods on it. Yes, it does. No, it does not. Yeah. All right. So. This being compared to the M1A, you can clearly see that the M1A is really just better in every way. You can spam faster. It has a smaller mag, but it does more damage, and it has lower headshot damage because while this the superior M1A is only superior, sorry, that was really shittily worded, and the police MK17 is high end, so it makes more sense that that stat is buffed. Uh, I got crappy talents on my MK17, so I'm not basing that off this. I, there's actually fantastic talents on this M1A. Each hit has a 10.5% chance to apply bleed. Critical hit damage is increased by 20%. Holy shit, like that's really good talents to get on a sniper. So I may end up using this gun a lot, even though I did get a covert SRS drop while getting some of the clips for the M1A, which I'm going to show now because you've already seen the MK17 clips and you... You probably have an understanding for how much or how many shots it takes to kill and now I'll show you the M1A and why I personally found that gun better. And then you actually see me get the covert SRS drop which will be my next high end review because it's, you know, I like doing snipers, they're my favorite. And I per personally like bolt action snipers more because they do a lot more damage. The covert SRS without any attachments is doing nearly 40k damage a shot. So, I can't wait to make that video. Unfortunately, the talents I got on it are just complete garbage. So, that sucks. But, you know, hopefully it'll still make a great video. Well, 
And uh, the only thing else I really have to say is that if you were considering buying the Police K MK17 Blueprint, I would say don't. It's really, really not worth it. Uh, the I think it was 151 Phoenix credits I spent on it. I can't remember the exact number, but it was really expensive and absolutely not worth it. Uh, it's probably my saddest purchase. So yeah, uh, I would highly recommend getting a different sniper than the MK17. So that's pretty much the end of the review. It's a don't buy. So hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, peace out.